so in today's video i am pretty much going to be showing you guys an updated version of my stockpile my husband and i we just recently rented out a storage because my husband needed the storage for his car and so i noticed that after his car going in the storage we still had a substantial amount of space in there and so i decided to go ahead and declutter some of my stockpile in the apartment and then I went ahead and moved a lot of items to the storage. So I am going to show you guys um, all of the spaces in my apartment that we that I keep my stockpile. So my stock closet, you guys, I wish I should have gotten some footage before I cleaned out my entire stock closet. I wish I should have gotten some footage because it was so much stuff in there, you guys. Like I had bags full of items that I hadn't even organized yet. I'm just going to show you guys how my stockpile looks, how my stockpile looks right now, and then all of the other areas in my apartment where I keep my stockpile. So, if you guys are interested in seeing my stockpile, then just keep on watching. Okay, you guys. So, we are going to start with my actual stockpile closet. So, as you guys can see i have laundry detergent and then this is where i have the majority of my paper products so literally everything over here is tissue paper towels i want to say i have way more tissue than i have paper towels so i need to stock up on some more but um as you guys can see i have a whole row of some scott comfort plus tissue i have some scott paper towels right there now the thing with my paper products you guys is that i only use my scott comfort plus and my scott paper towels all of the other paper products back there that is for my personal use only i have to have me a huge huge stockpile of tissue and paper towels so that is a rule of mine i only so like when i sell my bundles I only use the Scott Comfort Plus and the Scott um, paper towels. Now, there have been times to where I may have grabbed like some Angel Soft if I ran out of this tissue right here. It depends on the month and if, if my bundles are selling like super fast and then I'm just unable to stock up on any more Scott. Then I will probably use some of my Angel Soft tissue. But other than that, I try not to touch any of that. The only thing that I use is the Scott Comfort Plus and the Scott Paper to Paper Towels for my bundles. And then I also have um, a few packages of diapers. I have some good nights. I have some pull-ups down there. And then I think I have a package of Huggies down there. I also have some Huggies here and then a few more um, pull-ups. And then right here, I have, I just recently got the Scott 1000 roll tissue right here. So I have four packages of those. Those are for my personal use. I'm not gonna sell any of those in my bundles. And then over here, um, this is my full um, little shelf of pretty much laundry detergent. So up here, I do have some Priscilla Pro Clean discs. I have a few bottles of Priscilla laundry detergent, a bottle of Tide Gain. I have some All, and then I think I have this um, Ajax dish detergent back there. You know what? I still haven't tried that detergent, so I don't even know how that works. But I have that. I have some Tide, some Purex back there, Arm and Hammer, and then I have these Purex crystals, and I got these from Walgreens when they had that deal, buy two or buy four and receive 4,000 points. That's why I have uh, quite a few of those. I also have some of this Lime Away right here, and this Lime Away I got from Dollar Tree. When Dollar Tree had the, re well, when I bought it, had the rebates, get a dollar back when you buy one, and the limit was five. So these right here were, were completely free from Dollar Tree. And then I do have um, a few bottles of um, Arm & Hammer detergent back there. And then under here, I have some extra detergent. And I got this detergent um, at Walmart a while back. Um, as you guys can see, the regular price was $2.73. It was on clearance for $2. And then in this container right here, this is where I keep all of my toothpaste. So I have toothpaste, mouthwash. This is where I keep all of this. Now I keep this here. The reason why I didn't put this in storage is because number one, um, toothpaste does expire. And another reason why I didn't put it in my storage is because whenever I sell my bundles, I do always give away 
two tubes of toothpaste whenever anyone purchases a bundle from me so i this right here is always leaving and so that's why i decided to keep this in here that way i don't have to run back and forth to my storage to get toothpaste every time someone purchases a bundle from me so that's what i have in this container and then over here um i took this out so that i can show you guys so this is just pretty much um I guess you can say a small beauty box. I guess you can say um, I do have about five or six beauty boxes in my storage, but this is just what I have for right now. Once this gets super full, then I'm just going to go ahead and take this to storage and then I'll, you know, grab another container. And so basically I have this neck, neck, Nexus Color Assure. I have a few of these Revlon Kiss Foams. I have um, a few of these foot masks. I have um, razor, which I need to put in the closet with my other stuff. I have some Summer's Eve down there. I have some Irish Green Soap. I have some three bottles of Peroxide. And then I have a few of these face facial masks right here. So that's what this is a box that I have. And then right here is my Renews It box. So I have, uh, as you guys can see, I have quite a few renewses and this week at Walgreens, this upcoming week at Walgreens, I'm going to get more because we do have, we will be having a digital coupon along with the I bought a rebate. So I will be stocking up on more renews -its. So um, this box goes in the closet with my toothpaste along with my beauty box as well. So this is everything that i have in my stock closet and so yeah this is where i keep the majority of my laundry detergent but not only that i do have another space that i'm going to show you guys where i keep my laundry detergent because as you guys can see this right here is completely full i'm pretty sure it's going to start getting empty once my bundle starts selling more so this is a space for that so now let me go ahead and take you guys to my next um space Okay, you guys, so here's my next space right here. And as you guys can see, this is where I keep my Kleenex boxes. And then I also have some of uh, my feminine products up here. So I have a few uh, Playtex, Carefree. Um, and then this right here is just a random package of soap. I guess whenever I get some more soap, I will stock it here. Um, I do have a huge container of soap in my storage already. So this is a very small space, but this is where my Kleenex boxes and my feminine products will be. And whenever this gets too full, I will do the same thing and take it to the storage. And so here is my second space where I have my laundry detergent right here, you guys, because as you guys saw, um, my laundry detergent in my stock closet is completely full. So up here, I just pretty much have on these two rows, I have um, laundry packs. So I have a few bags of Tide, one thing of Gain, a few Arm & Hammer. I have some Tide Simply back there. And that's what I have on both of those shelves. And then under here, I have a few bottles of Gain. I have some Purex, I think, back there. Yeah, I have some Purex back there, some Tide. And then right here, I have a box of Persil Pro Clean Discs. I have two of these bigger boxes of Tide Pods and Gain Flings. And then back there, I have a huge container of Tide Liquid. And both of these are some, well, this is all, and then this is also some all. I think this is a bottle of all. Yeah, that's a bottle of all as well. And then here is my bottle of Lemon Shine. And then back there, I think I have some more of the extra laundry detergent. So yeah, this is my other space where I keep my laundry detergent. And so as you guys can see, this space is full as well. Now, when this gets full, I do have one more small space that I try to store my laundry detergent, you guys. But even though it's full right now, it is not going to be full for long because my bundles are going to start picking up here soon. So let me go ahead and take you guys to my next space. Okay, you guys, so here is my next space. And this space right here is pretty much underneath my um, sink. So now this cabinet, I used to have my fabric softeners. And then on this side, I used to have my dish soap, but I have found another spot for my dish soap. So this right here is primarily for all of my fabric softeners. Um, I have a quite I have quite a few fabric softeners, but I had some space left over, so I went ahead and I put um, two things of Lysol back there, and then I got some Tide detergent. So 
this spot right here so as you guys can see i have bounty fabric softener snuggle i have two bottles of fabuloso i have uh, four bottles of swallowtail back there i have one thing of gain fabric softener okay you guys so this is my very last space this is a closet that i turned into a little stockpile because this closet right here used to be full of i don't know what it used to be full of but um I was able to turn it into this so let's go ahead and start up top so up top this is pretty much where i will be keeping my um dryer sheets so i have a few boxes of dryer sheets i have this swiffer wet thing right here i have this mr clean clean and then right here on my second shelf i have these Airwick automate automatic spray refills i have some here then i have some here I have a few bottles of Glade room spray, and then I have about six Glade candles back there. Have some Febreze plugins, Febreze air spray, and then I have some Renews It um, plugins, some Airwick plugins. That's all that I have on my second shelf. And then right here, I am slowly but surely getting back stocked on my dish soap. My dish soap goes completely fast because I put it in my bundles and I also use it when I wash dishes. So this is something that I always need to be stocked up on. I am nicely stocked right now, but I do need more. And then right here, as you guys can see, I ran out of space for my dish soap right here. So I had to put um, a few down here. And then I have two of these Glade carpet, ref room, carpet and room refresheners. I have this one bottle of soft soap. This is where I'm storing my razors until it gets completely full. Then I'll take it to the storage. And then under here, I have pretty much my shampoo and conditioners, body washes. I have my um, shaving cream, skin to mint, um, chic extreme. I have a few bottles of deodorant back there. And then right here is pretty much where I keep my tissue, my stash of tissue. So whenever we, we run out of tissue in the bathroom, this is where we go and just grab. And then we also use wipes as well. We use wipes a lot. We don't just use tissue in our household. We use wipes. So this is my little stash of wipes. I do have about four huge boxes of wipes in storage so we're completely stocked on wipes but i would most definitely like to stock up on more because we run through wipes really really quick and so um and then i also have my paper towels here so whenever we run out of paper towels in the kitchen we can just come here and grab another one and then this right here is pretty much um thank you bags that i ordered from amazon um, so I will be using these whenever someone purchases a bundle from me. I usually just use um, Walmart bags, but I wanted to go ahead and just get some thank you bags. So that's what um, this is what I purchased from Amazon. I think this is a total of 350 bags. And I think if I remember correctly, I think I paid um, about, I want to say maybe nine to fifteen dollars i don't remember the exact price but it was somewhere between nine and fifteen dollars which i think is a really great price for that so this is my very last section here you guys i'm super happy because i do have a little bit more space now so i just wanted to take out the time to show you guys that uh, because even though we live in a two-bedroom apartment you know i still make it work um it really really helps now that we do have a storage though i will say um let me know in the comment section below if any of you guys live in an apartment where you store your stuff um so that's going to be it for this video you guys i hope you all enjoyed feel free to leave me some comments in the comment section below because i love hearing from you guys so that is going to be it for this video you guys and with that being said i will see you all in my next one bye